What's up you guys, it's Bob here with Midnight Snack. It's uh, it's a snack, it's midnight, it's 1 a.m. on the East Coast, 10 p.m. on the West Coast, and, and, unless I'm airing this at, at like 1 a.m. on the East Coast, or, or at midnight on the East Coast, and then it's 11 p.m. on the Central Time, and that, it, it gets confusing if you really try to think about all of them all at once, and then you try to think of what, I mean, it's not that confusing, but it's time zones. <clears throat> time zones, yes. So today what we're gonna be doing is taking a look at some devour we're gonna devour it well it will we'll do a taste test and then decide if we're gonna devour the rest of it but this actually looks pretty good devour creamy bacon alfredo mac and cheese you got a lot going on here you've got bacon you've got alfredo and you've got mac and cheese it almost looks like lobster but i think that that's just the bacon um so it's tender pasta and a creamy garlic Alfredo sauce topped with cuts of juicy grilled white meat chicken. Whoa, whoa. There's chicken in there? Oh, I didn't even see. With, ch with chicken. So it's mac and cheese, bacon and chicken. All right. Okay. <laughs> I, I guess. I mean, if, yeah, topped with white meat chicken, hearty pieces of applewood smoked bacon, and mozzarella cheese. So we, we, got, we got all kinds of stuff going on here. Picked one of these up at Target. You can probably find these in a lot of places besides that if you don't have a target near you, but most people I feel like kind of do. Um, so you can go find these in a lot of places that have frozen groceries. And this cost, I think like three fifty dollars something like that. Uh, but, 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 uh, yeah, well, $349. So $349, um, reasonable price, I think, so far. I mean, it seems like there's... A decent amount of stuff here and we'll, we'll get into the specifics in the back in a minute but if you wouldn't mind please go ahead and like this video so i can go and find more chicken and bacon and then combine it into mac and cheese because wow that what an idea just combining that sort of stuff and also if you're looking for career advice check out this collegelife.com it's a website on the internet where you can get career advice if you're looking to really do anything we, there's a, we have a list of recruiters and hiring professionals from a lot of different companies it's kind of geared toward college students but I mean, any, anybody at any level could really ask a question and probably get some pretty solid advice because there's people from all levels of recruitment and HR at different companies who are on her email list. And if you're in one of those positions in HR or hiring somewhere and you want to be on the email list and answer people's questions, there's a link to do that as well in the description of the video as well as a link to the main homepage of the website. But that being said, it's time to move on and actually talk about this devour a little more. Get into specifics. We already looked at the price. We looked at the front. They've got, um, wow, there's a lot of ingredients in here. They're, okay, well, we're going to we'll unpack that in a minute. But uh, let's see, anything, anything. They've got a little thing here that just says, Devour Brand is committed to providing the highest quality experience with our products. We welcome your comments. Please have the packaging when you call. Okay, so that's just if you have something to say to them. Um, okay, show your mouth a good time. Okay, so I, the what their promise here, their recommendation here is that with this food you'll be you'll be showing uh, you'll be showing your your mouth a good time. Sounds like there's a little innuendo going on. I, I don't know, but it seems a little bit like that might be the case. Um, chicken alf yeah, chicken alfredo meets applewood smoked bacon. E bliss in this mac that doesn't hold back. Let me just read that one more time back to you. Chicken Alfredo meets applewood smoked bacony bliss in this mac that doesn't hold back. They're, they're really... The creamy garlic Alfredo sauce is sure to send your head spinning in this savory take on a classic dish. Go on, keep dreaming. The creamy bacon Alfredo mac and cheese will take care of the rest. Okay. Oh, and then it tastes ridiculously good. Of course, I mean, that's self-proclaimed here. But... All food should be mouth-watering, period. End of story. So in each of our meals, we dial up the taste, max out the flavor, turn up the texture, tender meats and creamy sauces, crispy crusts and gooey cheeses, spicy, smoky or savory, sometimes sweet, always ridiculously good. According to their message on the box. So clearly it sounds like they really want you to enjoy this. And I, I'm, I'm getting my hopes up. My mouth's watering just thinking about this. So buh, 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 let's look at the nutrition facts here. And just take a peek through there. 470 calories for one of these. So I'm getting a pretty substantial amount of calories. This would be a good lunch to bring to work. And if there's a freezer, wherever you work, throw it in the freezer. You're probably working from home still. A lot of people are now. So you can throw this in the freezer at your own house. Um, 
470 calories, you're going to get 20 grams of total fat. That's going to be 31% of your total daily fat, as well as 43% of your total daily amount of saturated fat. And that's going to be 9 grams. And then you're going to have 0.5 grams of trans fat, 25% of your daily amount of cholesterol, 35% of your daily amount of sodium. Kind of a lot of sodium, but, you know, bacon, chicken, mac and cheese, I kind of expected that. Like, there's going to be a lot of sodium in something like this. And there's actually a little less than I was expecting, frankly. 14% uh, of your daily amount of carbs, so that's 41 grams. And then 11% of your dietary fiber, 3 grams. So you get a little fiber in this. Not bad. Not bad at all. Fiber's good for you. Two grams of sugar. Wasn't really expecting any sugar, but I guess there's going to be some here and there. And then 31 grams of protein. So really good source of protein. And then good source of fats, too. Good source of proteins and fats. And frankly, carbs. There's not too many carbs in there, but a good amount. And then you get 30% of your daily amount of calcium in here. And then 8% of your iron. And then a little bit more. And that's all based on a 2,000 calorie diet. So if you're like me and you eat like 3,700 calories a day, that those percentages don't really apply. But if you're on a 2,000 calorie diet, like if I ate 2,000 calories, I wouldn't be able to sleep. Like I'd be all out of whack and stuff and whatever. But that's beside the point. It's neither here nor there. Um, <clears throat> see cooking instructions. Okay, before we get to the cooking instructions and then I go throw this in my microwave, let's just look through some of these ingredients real quick. Uh, wow, there's a lot to read. So I guess let's just start with this. It contains milk and wheat. I guess you should probably expect that because there's pasta and cheese and sauce and stuff. So there's milk and wheat. So if you have allergies for those two things, you got to be aware of that and just kind of go go into it expecting milk and cheese if you, um, if you have allergies. And so you avoid it if you do and you don't think you can handle that. And if you, they're lighter allergies and you think you can handle it, then, then by all means, give it a try if it's something you think you can handle but always talk to your doctor clearly if you have allergies that might get serious or whatever. I, I don't know how allergies work. I, I don't really have allergies, maybe a little milk, but pretty light. So let's get into these ingredients. <clears throat> I'm not going to go into like the sub ingredients, but we'll just go quick through. Uh, cooked enriched pasta product. Kind of weird way to say pasta. Sauce, process, white cheddar cheese. Not processed. It's just processed white cheddar cheese. It's kind of interesting. Water, sodium phosphate, soybean oil, whey protein concentrate, Parmesan cheese, roasted garlic, cheese flavor blend, water, sodium, see, where's the mozzarella? Modified cornstarch, spices, anything. Fully cooked chicken breast with rib meat chunks. That's pretty to be expected. Um, oat fiber, chicken stock, rosemary, extra, extractives, sugar, corn, shredded part skim mozzarella cheese. There it is. Okay, fully cooked applewood smoked bacon pieces and applewood smoke flavor. So, got that applewood smoke flavor in here. That's excellent. Uh, all right, and it may contain sodium phosphate, smoke flavor, sodium ethorbate, sodium ascorbate, and dextrose. Okay, and it's distributed out of Devour Foods, Chicago, Illinois plant. Let's go cook this. See, and actually, let's just take a look. Let's rip it open and take a peek in here. Okay, looks pretty good, frankly. I think the frozen version of this doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm gonna go make this. I'll be back in a second. If you wouldn't mind, please go ahead and like this video so I can go find more cheese, bacon, and all that good stuff and mix it together. And I'll see you in a minute. All right, and we're back. Midnight Snack's back. I'm Bob, it's Midnight Snack. We're taking a look at this devour meal. It's got bacon, it's got chicken, it's got Alfredo. A lot of go, a lot of stuff, go yeah. I mean, Bottom line is a lot of stuff going on here. We got, we got all kinds of things going on in this food. So I saw some interesting stuff when I was cooking it. Number one, um, it takes actually quite, it takes uh, roughly, I'd say close to eight, nine minutes to completely cook because you got to let it cool for two minutes. And it's, and I have a microwave that's not 1100 watts, it's a little less than that. So I had to put it in for longer. So it's cooked. One interesting thing though, when I started cooking it, it had like, a ton of sauce and the sauce sort of I don't want to say it like evaporated but it kind of evaporated like it there was a quite a bit of the alfredo in there and now it's just kind of like gone like it's still like it's still there you can see here give you a good view of this hey, look at that see the, the alfredo is still in there but there was like a lot more like if I was showing it to you like that before I cooked it it'd be like leaking out and I mean it was frozen 
but and I showed it to you before, so you know that. But I thought that was kind of interesting. There seemed like there was quite a bit of it in there, um, and it sort of just went away, it looks like. So there were a lot of chunks of it. Anyhow, I'm going to take a big bite here. You got some chicken breast, got bacon, got pasta, got cheese. Give you a little verdict here, right? Here we go. One bite. Okay, the chicken was a little dry, the bacon was good, the pasta was good, the cheese was delicious. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? Overall, tasty meal. And it's hard to get like good chicken when it's frozen. So I don't blame that, the chicken was good enough. And I bet the rest of the chicken, and there was a big hunk of chicken too, I bet there's some smaller pieces in there that are probably gonna taste juicier. So I'm gonna stick this with an 8.31 out of 10. And yeah, you should check it out. If you see this, it's not terribly expensive, especially for all the different nutrients and different flavors and stuff that you get with it. And you got a good chunk of calories in there too. So yeah, that's my rating. Midnight Snack, if you wouldn't mind, please go ahead and like this video because mozzarella exists. And also if you're looking for career advice and other resources about careers, check out this collegelife.com. It's a website, it's on the internet. This is Midnight Snack, I'm Bob. I'll see you next time.